Hello and welcome back to The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. Now you may notice that I am in a completely different place than I was when I uh, ended the last session. In fact, I've come back across the dam all the way over here to the other side of the lake over to where this train was. And I've gone ahead and read a bit about what I missed over here and it looks like there's some things here that I just completely missed. I like totally completely missed them. So. I'm going to finish off this section. So I've got a gas can here. Gasoline, diesel fuel. Dropped in a rush. Looks like there's gasoline here or diesel fuel. Dried grass. Doesn't say. Rectangle shape, rectangle shape, rectangle shape. Rail car from the bridge. Rail car. Ah, okay. So we've got a rail car here. Well, the rail car is here. Ah. It's showing us around the rail car here. I mean, we've already figured out how to how to start it up and move it. So, and then there's something else over here. Inspect. Rock. Divot. Fresh dirt. Rock. Rock, rock. Is it going to come together and let me find the rock? There's a rock. Okay, I think I... Ah, okay. I think I'm figuring out some stuff about this, so... There's a rock here. Is it pointing to where I can find it? Yeah. I've got a rock. Okay, so now... I think the idea is to put the rock back here. It's rock. Okay. Rail car. So it appears to be telling me to put the rail car there. So I will do that. I will put the rail car there. So uh, hopefully this will be close enough. Okay, something happened. Okay, now as I my understanding of this is now I should be able to come down here and get more information here. Aha! Okay, so now we're seeing perhaps something that happened here when this happened. So I'm going to follow these things. Okay, I'm guessing that's Ethan, and is that his dad? And then, huh, is this where he was? Mm, that's weird. Okay, I guess that's Grandpa. Talking with Dad. Um, okay.
Am I just to see these scenes or are they supposed to act out? Okay. Okay, so... I think there's something down here, because... Yeah. Okay, chronology. Um... Okay, so... Okay, so... Actually, I'm cheating a bit because I have the walkthrough here. So this is the first one. Ed picking up the rock is the second one. Ed approaching with the rock is the third one. This is the fourth one. And that's the fifth one. And this is the sixth one. So basically what's happening here is... And this is Travis. So Travis had tied Ethan to the tracks. Ed didn't like what was going on, so Ed grabbed the rock. So this thing had been down here all this time, right? So. Ed is approaching, Ed grabs a rock, Ed comes here and approaches Travis saying, hey dude, you're not going to do that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is, I guess, uh, oh, I guess this is, he gets hit, maybe he hit him in the head with the rock, and then Ed drove over him. And then he crawls down here, and Ethan's like, Travis, Travis, and it follows him. So, yes, visualize. Listen to me. We can destroy it. I know how. You can't destroy it, Ethan. You can't destroy time. And that's what he is. He is forever. All right, I'm going to get this rock here. I wish there was another way. Travis, tell me where Ethan is. Now. I'm giving the sleeper what he wants. What all of us want. Look, old man. You need to go home. <gasps> Alright, so he clocked Travis on the head. Now Travis is sitting here. Or Ethan's getting away. Travis walked away and then collapsed and Ed's like that cannot have felt good Ethan, run goddamn it go get out of here and then Ed finishes the job presumably with that Travis, close your eyes So Travis was trying to kill Ethan, or at least suffer him. I mean, the way Ethan was on those tracks, I don't think it would have hurt him. Okay, so now I follow this down here. And there's something going on down here. I'm sick too. I can feel the sleeper in my head. Then fight it. I have to destroy the room. Corvus, I'm sorry. Ethan. Oh no. I can't let you do that. Corvus. 
Well, depression. Uh, Whatever had turned locked. Ethan's family against him, the grandfather was trying to resist. Age helps against those things that feed on hate. Not because of wisdom or experience, because the old are tired. Their hate is less useful. Okay, so now we're going to go over here. So we've cleared, this is, this basically finishes everything that's over here. We already did the thing with, uh, with the spaceman. And Ethan's story about fangs. So now we need to make our way over here. So, just to recap what we just saw. Um, Ethan, you know, and Travis, I still don't know what the relationship between Travis and Ethan is. Brother, cousin, I don't know. Uncle, uncle maybe, um, was going to, quote, give the sleeper what he wants. So the sleeper is the thing that Ethan apparently had awakened by going into a secret room where it was either being held or it was, um, or it was, you know, sleeping, I guess. And they thought that it was demanding a sacrifice or something. Although, again, I'm not entirely sure if the way that Ethan was strapped to the tracks, unless there wasn't sufficient clearance underneath the, uh, the small locomotive, he, it would have just rolled right over him and he would have been fine. And it would have cleared him, but yeah, whatever. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go through these doors. So I was right earlier when I speculated that this was a puzzle where you had to go through these doors in the right order. So you had to pick the right one, I think. So, um, yeah, as I noticed, the, the rooms you entered through those portals matched the rooms in those houses. And this is indeed a puzzle. And I've got some information on how to solve it, but I'm not entirely sure yet. So I'm probably still going to have some trial and error here. Okay, so activate. Okay, activate. Okay, door. Okay. Ah, okay, so um, I guess I go through here. Okay, so... Okay. All right, so I made it into here. Ah, okay, so now I'm like inside, right? Okay. Ah, okay, so it's like I have to place them in the right place. So I'm, I'm in this other house, or I'm in a representation of the other house. Okay, so this is the right one. Yeah. So apparently, if you if you mess up, you get um, you get like uh, and like a flash of red or something. Okay, so. So it looks, this looks like the right one. Yeah. Okay. One. Okay. All right. So now I've, now I've cleared that. Okay. So basically the fact that I'm still here means I'm doing it right. Okay. Because if I screw up, I get two chances to get it wrong. Two chances to get it right. If I get it wrong twice, then it routes me back out to the entrance. Okay, so this is the right one here.
Okay, so ward door to the left of the stairs. The next door is a room with a wardrobe and a side table sitting next to it. Oh, that's this one. Okay, cool. Path that leads back to the stairway. Okay, looks like that's right. I think I did that right. Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, looks like looks like I did that right. Okay, this one. Okay, so that one is... Okay, this one, yep. Alright, so I've made it here. Okay. Yep, so far so good. And then the third floor. And finally this room. And here is the secret room. It's a room we've not seen before. I will go through it. Okay, so make sure I see everything here. Hmm, there's something happening here. Some kind of chemical reaction being done. There's a head. There's a... Actually, it looks like a sculpture of some kind of alien fetus or something like that. And... Is that the next Chronomicon Ex Mortis? I don't know. But I will read this. Oh, okay, so the drawing is of a, a series of corridors. And the text says, A magician once lived inside an old house and made potions that let him see the future. People from the village came to the magician's house and demanded he share his potions with them. We want to see the future too, they told him. But the magician said no. The people from the village grew angry and burned the magician's house, but the magician knew this would happen. He had already cast a spell on his potion room. The house burned, but the room did not. The people from the valley waited, but the magician never came out. Why are you standing there? You spying? No. No, huh? What the hell's wrong with you exactly? Nothing. You need to stop leaving your stupid stories around. They're freaking everyone out. Okay, so now I'm behind the veil. Okay, so I got a couple things to read. I'll start with this over here. Blaze reveals moonshine operation. NASA launches ATS-6 satellite. I'll read this first. Cape Canaveral, Florida. NASA launched what has been called the world's first educational satellite in Florida today giving the United States a powerful edge in telecommunication technology. The Applications Technology Satellite 6 will directly broadcast educational programming to several countries, including the United States, Canada, India, and Australia. NASA believes the satellite will, will remain in constant contact with Earth for at least the next five years. I have to look that up, see if it's a real satellite. But here's the, here's the more important one, at least as far as the game goes. Blaze Reveals Moonshine Operation by Daniel Josephson. Bayfield County, Ashland Township volunteer firefighters discovered an apparent moonshine still while battling a blaze in the woods off Old Ogden Road. According to authorities, the still comprised a propane stove and four-gallon stainless steel pot, which was used to hold the whiskey mash. Based on the size of the still, Bayfield County Sheriff Hank Shuffle believes it may be part of a small operation, though he admitted there could be other stills in the county. Officers on the scene recovered a half-gallon amount of apple pie moonshine. Apple pie moonshine? Moonshine made with actual apple pie, or just apples. <clears throat> and one gallon of unflavored moonshine. Apple cider and cinnamon sticks were found adjacent to the still. The police have been un unable to determine who owns the still. Sheriff Schaefel says a cigarette butt tossed at the scene likely caused the fire. Okay, and we got over here. Read this. 
Hmm, kind of hard to read, but... Oh, okay, this is the same thing. Uh, yep, same thing. And is there anything else? Well, I mean, this looks like a, an old homemade still. There's still liquid in here, interestingly. I wonder where that what that liquid is. I mean, it's not rainwater. Somebody using this recently? And now I can come out here to what was a closed door. Okay. All right. I'll go ahead and go back outside. And that clears up this. So he somehow found this room. I mean, I'm guessing that's the, the room he found. Somehow. Oops, wait a minute. Oh, okay. I'm already out. Oh. What? Oh, that's interesting. So this now, this is no longer here. So I can no longer activate those doors. That table and the note is gone. And that will do it for this session. And we'll pick it up in the next one.